Et salut tout le monde, on se retrouve pour l'épisode 4 de notre let's play. Alors on avait rencontré un gamin chelou. Et il me semble qu'il faut qu'on aille à la pêche aux informations. Alors, journal de quête. Voilà, qui était dans ce garçon. Et à découvrir ce que c'est euh, à il ça. Je sais pas comment ça se prononce. On verra. <rire> ok, on est parti. Aye, and once you're done in the kitchen, go and clean up the cellar. The spiders have made a nest down there. A big one, too. They're crawling everywhere. Uh, Master David! Nice of you to grace us with your presence. Uh, bah, ouais, Michael, on va dire. I appreciate your patience. I've had the staff prepare some of the finest Scottish delicacies for you. Black pudding, haggis, scrambled eggs with deer brain, and bacon. Oh, putain, ça bon petit déjeuner ça. Psst, pas mangé. Qu'est-ce que ça On va manger ça, non Ok. I shot the deer myself in the local woods. D'accord. Et ça c'est quoi On va goûter. Mother was never a fan of dishes made from entrails. In this case, she'd be missing out. D'accord. Bon, on a tout mangé. Ok, j'ai fini. That was delicious. Thank you. I'm sure our local specialities must seem peculiar to one raised as you were. I was raised in India. My spectrum of peculiar has quite a range. Ah, mais ça sûrement. Elle est encore un succès. Ok, est-ce qu'on peut lui parler? Yes, Master David. Wow, son travail. You've worked for the family all your life. Yes, Master David. Save my time serving in Swaziland. You served in South Africa? Oh, indeed, sir. During the Boer War. But Sir Edward intervened and I was able to return unharmed from that most futile conflict. Okay. La femme de chambre semble avoir peur. May I ask, the maid? She seems nervous, almost afraid of me. She's afraid of everything. You don't think much of her? I do not, sir. And, if I may be so bold, one of Lady Gordon's earrings has gone missing. You suspect the maid? Not my place oh, to say, say Master David. Yet I think you just did say. <laughs> if I gave him the earring, he'd use it as an excuse to torment the maid. Not that I'd ever gain his trust, he's clearly loyal to Lady Margaret. Ok. <rire> uh, how many staff are there? Nowadays, only myself, the maid, and Rory the gardener. I suppose you could include the lawyer too, if that is work. Not many for such a big house. If you felt like hiring more staff, I would not complain, sir. But of course, not everyone is suited to work in this house. Eh, évidemment, comme par hasard. Allez, well, Lucas. good day to you. Indeed, sir. Alors, on n'a rien à récupérer, on, a... non, on avait tout fait dans cette pièce, je crois. Je pense. Il n'y a pas des trucs qui repop. Non. Allez. J'ai une tête. Alors. Ah, la vieille, est-ce qu'elle est toujours là Non, elle est partie. Donc on part nous aussi. Ah, on a quelque chose ici. Sign of modernity, even in ancient houses like this. Je pas ce que c'est. Ok. Alors, ça fait quoi si on va par là On peut pas. On peut pas. Euh, bon, on va essayer de faire un peu toutes les portes. Hein. Smoking ah. a pipe. I thought that would be beneath her station. On va aller parler à la vieille. Uh, Lady Margaret. 
David. May I first apologize for my strange behavior last night? It's just that... Uh, think nothing of it. You are obviously tired from your travels. Least said, soon is mended. Guess I don't want to give her another reason to think me mad. Uh, this may seem like an unusual question. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, dear boy. Have I ever been here before? Is it possible I visited as a child and can no longer remember? Oh no, you are a stranger to these walls. And I have a feeling you prefer it stayed that way. D'accord. Uh, Son what Marie. kind of man was my grandfather? Oh, he was magnificent. He was handsome, so handsome. And caring. Caring enough to knock a defenseless child down the stairs. Right. <laughs> All was so very different when he was around. The maid. Uh -huh. She seemed to be acting strangely, like she was frightened of me. Yes, well, she's a simple sort, that one. She has probably heard of the curse of the Gordons the locals like to whisper about. Curse? What curse? Just a peasant superstition. I would guess she was worried you'd show the same displays of unpredictable violence as your father did. I never knew my father to be the violent type. Oh, there are many things you do not know about your father. Thank this you. is his doing. What? But, but how? I'd rather not discuss it, David. And that maid should really keep her mouth shut and locate the earring she lost. She's like a magpie with shiny, expensive things. Where, well, where? Well. I could give it to her, and she'd still never tell me anything useful about my father or the secrets of this place. But the maid? Okay. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. Merci pour les oh, infos. and David, the master of the house needs to respect the privacy of those under his roof. Even your father understood that. Sometimes a cabinet is locked for a reason. Well, uh... <laughs> L'ignorance, c'est important. important. I was looking for some documents and Andrew had already gone to bed. I would still appreciate you respecting the rules of this house. You're not its owner quite yet. Ouais, ouais, comme toi. J'avais vite dégagé. Bon, là, on avait déjà fait. Ok. Euh, là, il y avait une porte. On ne peut pas. Ok, on a parlé à la grand-mère, c'est cool. Allez, on va aller voir la bibliothèque. Ah. David, apologies for not being here to greet you. As the telephone in the castle is not working due to the recent storm, I have had to journey to the village to communicate with my office. Okay. Upon my return, I shall show you to the chapel where you can pay your respects to your father. Yours, Andrew Harris. Or okay, maybe Andrew. I'll just head to the chapel myself, just as soon as the weather clears. Ah, on ira à la chapelle tout seul. Pas besoin de... de gens pour me tenir la main. Il devrait y avoir quelque chose d'intéressant. Peut-être même qu'on va pouvoir sortir. Ah, nickel. Uh, Miss Cranon? Isn't that used for transporting cooked food? Why is there blood in it? Ugh, the wee scanner thought it would be funny to put one of his dead beasties in it to fear me. He should keep them in the cellar and... Sorry, sir. I'm speaking out of turn. Did you ever talk to my father? I was serving here when he... That is to say, I... Go on, please. I didn't think it'd be proper, sir. Lady Margaret said... Oh, sorry, sir, I must get on with my work. Ah, Lady Mar Margaret... She's as scared of Margaret as she is of the butler. Poor girl. Um, you said my father saw things. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. I noticed the attic door is locked. You'd best ask Angus, sir. 
I hardly go up there. Okay. The mere mention of the attic terrified her. What is in there? I think you may have lost this. Oh, sir! Oh, thank you, sir. I only wanted to see how it looked in the mirror. I didn't mean to. I was scared to tell her ladyship. Oh, she can have such a temper. What are you going to do now? Uh, if I can sneak it into the salon, maybe her ladyship will think she lost it there herself. From what I know about her, I very much doubt her ladyship will. Huh. What Daniel. happened to my father here? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You're not like the rest of them here. Oh, sir, there's things you should know, but I really need this job. She knows something, but how can I convince her to trust me? That's such a bit. Would you like me to escort you to the cellar? Allez. Wouldn't be proper to ask the owner of the house to do that, sir. Well, I'm not the owner yet, and you didn't ask. Very kind of you, sir. Happy to help. I'll let you know when I'm ready to accompany you down there. I shall leave you to your work. Faudra revenir la chercher. Mais bon, on fait un petit tour. Alors, est-ce qu'on peut aller là, quitter le jardin, partir Bon, on va, on va essayer d'aller là. Elsa knows more about my father than she dares tell me. I'd better earn her trust now. She might return to the village once the weather clears. Okay, là. Shall we? Ah, nickel. Ok, alors. Oh là, elle est partie où Ok. Prendre. Bon, on va faire cramer tout ça. What we can find down here. D'abord, faut pas lui parler. How cruel of Mr. McKinnon to send her down here alone. C'est sûr. Bon. Harsh as it may seem, a proper serving of fire is the only way to get rid of such a widespread infestation. Okay. This is as close as I get. Otherwise, I'll have them crawling all over me. I have to find a way to eliminate them altogether. I go. T'es t'es une bougie. This is as close as. C'est une blague. Okay. 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 Faut fouiller. Alors, là, on a une bouteille d'alcool. Je sais pas quoi. Spirit, not particularly palatable, but good for cleaning and magic tricks. Okay. The water of life. Some of these whiskies are from. Looks fresh. Master Eddie's work. He and Mr. McKinnon put it here earlier. Poor beastie. Eddie. Another family member I've yet to meet. Oui, c'est le chasseur. Ooh, a lot of blood for just one animal. Mais il y en a eu plusieurs. <laughs> ah, couteau peut-être. Not the most hygienic workstation. Ouais, j'avoue. Hmm, a hunting map. Looks like they've been poaching outside the Gordon estate. Ok. Qu'est-ce qu'on a par là-bas? Rien du tout. Bon, je crois qu'on a fait le tour. On doit avoir tout ce qu'il nous faut. Ok. Il y avait rien juste ici, là, je regarde. Non. Alors, maintenant qu'on a tout ça, on peut brûler. Step right up. Sir, what are you? Oh my! Oh, that's amazing. Does that not hurt? <laughs> yeah, a little trick I learned in India. A ball pat is on you. Sorry, did that scare you, Elsa? I didn't think.
Ok, bonjour. <rire> Et tu Edward Mallory. Tu me call me Edward III. So this is cousin Eddie. He seems. Welcome to my castle. As terrible as the rest of them. My castle indeed. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Eddie. So your parents would be my aunt and uncle Clara and Victor. Are they dead? Dead as doornails, the pair of them. Lovely. You've lived here all your life, so you would have met my father. Only after he lost what marbles he had left. If it were up to me, I'd have locked him up in the loomy bin a bit sooner. Locked him up? So what are you doing down here anyway? There's a line between honesty and rudeness that cousin Eddie doesn't seem to recognize. I was helping Miss Cranon. Oh, why didn't you ask me? Excuse me, sir. Sirs, I really have to go. Leaving so soon? Uh, was it something I said? They all tend to act like that in the presence of nobility. You said something about a loony bin? I did. Oh. Oh, you don't know. Well? Well, never you mind. I have an animal to prepare. I'm getting very tired of everyone in this house avoiding my questions. Ouais, c'est chiant. There's something you should know, sir. Something important. I overheard them talking, and I... Uh, you're paid to work, not chat. Get to it, girl. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. Library after dinner. Okay. At last. I might get some answers. Bibliothèque après manger. Ça marche. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'ils disent Après le dîner, faut aller la voir. Et quel garçon On a toujours rien. C'est chiant. Il est où le, le mec là Ok, il est parti. Okay. Très bien. Bah moi aussi je peux casse. Ici on peut plus y aller. Ah si. Toujours le bazar. Il y a toujours la maquette. Ah, il y a quelque chose ici. Let's see if my trusty key will get this open. <rire> Not like this. Faut encore la changer. Euh, ok. On va essayer d'aller voir les portes. C'est pas là, c'est pas là. Là. If the old man I saw was really my grandfather Edward, then the boy must be. Faut que je sois sûr. Ah ouais. I need to find out if that really was him I saw. Moi aussi, je peux retourner là ou pas I better leave cousin Eddie to his hobby for Putain, now. Je sais pas où faut que j'aille. Ça on l'avait déjà fait. This will make it easier to carry. Ça ou quoi On l'avait déjà fait ça. The boy. It must be. But I need to be sure. Perhaps the names are on the back. Ok. Non, il n'y a pas les noms. <rire> Allez, putain c'est chiant ça. My family. Ok. Yet they're all still strangers Allez. to me. <sighs> Grandfather Edward. Ouais. Just as he looked last night. Et enfin. Ouais bon allez, ça va oui. Ça c'est le petit garçon. The boy. How did he provoke Edward into throwing him down the stairs? C'est une bonne question. Un retour non? Oh putain. Ah, mais c'est le cancer leur truc là. Lady Margaret. She looks happy. I can't imagine a smiling like that these days. My family. Yet they're all still strangers to me. Ah ouais. Allez, OK. C'est bon là, non My family. Yet they're all still strangers to me. What's this Ah ok. Looks like it's drawn oh, in blood. Wow. 
Wah, wow, qu'est-ce qui se passe Oh là Ok, faut appuyer plein de fois. Ok, j'ai, j'ai, j'ai. Putain. D'accord, alors je faisais je sais pas quoi dans un arbre. Faut que je m'en souvienne. Regardless of what I told Miss Cranon, these visions. Ok. Bon. Faudra sûrement aller dehors. La vieille, il n'y a pas quelque chose à faire. Euh. Uh, Lady Margaret Yes, David. Il fallait lui reparler. I saw an old photograph of a boy in the other room. Something tells me she wouldn't be happy if she knew I had it in my pocket. Ah, that was taken in 1894. Young Johnny, your father. You can remember the exact year. It's a funny thing when you reach my age. You can remember dates from decades ago. But not what you had for breakfast. <laughs> Maybe others can't. Um, who, may I ask, were the others in the picture? That would be your Aunt Clara and your late great-grandmother, the last true Countess of Scarhandu House. And my dear Edward, of course. I uh, noticed my father had a scar in his face. <sighs> Falling from a tree, perhaps? I can't recall. But your father was a clumsy child. Can't recall. But you remember the date the photograph was taken. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. D'accord, bon. On en a appris encore un peu plus. Euh, Est-ce qu'on a mis le, la quête à jour Ok, qui était le garçon Allez voir Alice après le dîner, retrouver la tombe du tableau. Eh bien, c'est deux trucs qu'on fera dans le prochain épisode. Là, on a quand même pas mal avancé, mine de rien, donc on se laisse ici. Je vous fais des bisous et à la prochaine tout le monde. Salut